What's up, everybody? Buddha back here again, and it is once again that time of month for the loot crates. And I'm a little ill prepared for this because I have no idea what the theme was. Um, not a clue, not a sausage, no idea. So it's going to be a surprise to everybody. Maybe we go through the, the box and try to figure out what the theme was before we look at the magazine to see what the theme was. Let's do that. So. This came in Friday. This is Sunday. So maybe a little late. Stuff that may be already floating out there, but who gives a shit, right? Um, okay, that's the shirt. We have a small aliens figure here. Queen takes bishop collector series. Oh, that sounds interesting. So we have Hang on a second. It's almost like they're hero killings. Okay. We have a little base. You can see that there. And we have a little bishop. See him there. And we have a great big queen that actually it looks like I have to put together. Well, this is kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Um, okay, wait a minute. We're getting this because I'm, I'm noticing some things. There's no instructions, though. There's no fucking instructions anywhere in this box. better light. Um, uh, I'm white. Okay, so that kind of goes like that. And this seems like it goes you know, like this wow I'm really kind of screwing this up I think shit now I dropped the alien body hang on a second And I have no idea where the fuck it went. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. That was kind of a pain in the ass. So we have this little figure here. And it's the Alien Queen stabbing Bishop. Uh, it took about 10 minutes to put together. Which is why I stopped the video. Um, it's kind of cool, but it's not on par with like the Q-Figs. Or even the little pop finals and stuff that they used to do. I really... I like it, but I don't like it. I'm not a huge Alien fan, so there's that. Um, after this video, it's probably going to get dismantled, put back in the box to be put in the yard sale. So, uh, yeah. The sculpt itself, I mean, even based on all that, the sculpt itself is really good, and there's a lot of detail to it and stuff like that. It's just kind of a pain in the ass to put together because there's no instructions. So, yeah. That... Like I said, uh, 
I'll put that to the side for the moment. All right, so there's all that. That's just plastic. We have something R2-D2 here. We have an R2-D2 easy to assemble laser cut wood pieces. Oh, it's a little R2-D2 statue. That's cool. Okay, so you can see right here. I guess you're going to have to paint him yourself because that's what he looks like. I guess put together. Let's see. Punch out. Contains one laser cut FSC certified wood sheet with easy removable pieces. Build illustrated step by step instructions to make this 3D puzzle. Puzzle! It's a puzzle. Okay, 3D puzzle. Quick and fun to build. Interlocking joint connect technology with means no glue or tape is required to hold the model securely. Color features tips on using colored pencils, markers, watercolors, and more to give R2D2 your own unique spin. So that's cool. Okay, so you, you cut him, you, you, you cut him out, you put him together, and you can paint him however you want. So he doesn't. You can be like instead of all, all the white dar, uh, on him, you can put him in black and be like Darth R2D2 or some shit like that. That's kind of cool. I kind of dig that. I don't know how I'll do it. Probably even more like a project to give away one of the nephews or something like that. But that's kind of cool. I dig that. Um, we have this month's pen. We have Insight Edition Introduce Creative. Uh, we have a card here for kind of like a community challenge where you can build your with the 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 R two D two to build your own and, and send pictures in and stuff like that to. It's kind of a community challenge. That's that's kind of cool to go with it. We have a Star Trek comic, the Next Generation, Mirror Broken, Origin of Data. Okay, so I'm thinking this is all like because we have Star Wars, we have Star Trek, we have aliens. It's all space related. That's what I'm thinking. The 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 the, the the theme is. Um, and then we have a pin here, which is sort of like some kind of robot. Oh, okay. So the theme was robotic. So there's the pin, and you can see there on the pin that it says it's robotic. So, okay, so Bishop is a robot getting skewered by the alien. Data in the comic is a robot. R2-D2 is obviously a robot. Um, let's see. We have the book in here. It says robotic. And then we have the shirt, like we always do. It's a black shirt. Oh, I happened to flip it over because I didn't know and see the, the kind of logo that they put on the, the, the tag or the tagless tag. So our shirt is Blade Runner related and it's a Wallace Corporation Blade Runner shirt. Now I have it it's Blade Runner 4040 or what is it 2049? Yeah 2049. So I don't know if this is relation to the new movie or the old movie because it's been forever since I've seen the old movie. Like probably 12 years and I do want to go back and watch the first movie and then supposedly they're going to do like a, a Blade Runner like animatrix type thing to go along with the new movie so I don't know but I want to go back and watch the old movie and then go back go to the theater and watch the new movie and if the Blade Runner animatrix thing is in there then I'll, I'll watch that as well um, but that's all we got for as far as the loot crate goes uh, I have been your friendly neighborhood Buddha man um, Oh, and the box. The box turns into a Cog Krispies cereal box. You can see that there. Um, let's go through the magazine real quick. See what we could have got. Or see what else there should have been. Or, you know, the fucking Mega Crate. We got a t shirt, we got a comic book, we got the R2D2 statue, which I, I think is pretty cool. Uh, Aliens thing, 
There's not a whole lot in this. Okay, so the Mega Crate was a, a collection of Jessica Jones graphic novels and X Files, complete Blu ray series, a custom gaming table, and the Lego Batman Batmobile set. Wait, are we? So that's all the stuff we could have won if we won the Mega Crate. And I'll be it. That's that sort of kind of interesting. The Mega Crate seemed a little weak with that. I mean, because you could buy all that stuff. I mean, the gaming table is probably the only thing that's going to be the most expensive thing on that. But you could buy all that stuff for like any time anyway. I mean, you may have to order the Batmobile from Lego directly, or you can get the comics anywhere. Um, and the X Files thing, you know. You may have to custom, a special order it, the, the entire Blu ray series of that, but yeah, so I don't know. Um, all in all, once again, it's a kind of a, a weak crate. I do dig the, uh, the R2D2 thing. I don't know if I'm actually going to put it together, like I said, but that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know how long, how tall is he supposed to be? Let's we'll say how tall he's supposed to be. But if it's one sheet in this like five by six inch package, he's probably not that tall. Finished product is 2.56 inches by 2.56 inches by 3.9 inches. There's 81 pieces. Maybe there's more than one sheet in here. Then. I don't know. But anyways, that was this month's Loot Crate for September 2017. Robotic was the uh, theme. And um, yeah, so we will catch you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.